So it's here, the Arcade 1-Up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles machine. And I got my hands on it, I got a chance to play with it, and I'm gonna tell you what my thoughts are about this machine and should you get it coming up in this video. What's up everybody, this is Brian from Happy Funny Gaming, and if you're into gaming, geek culture like me, like and subscribe below. But right now, I'm going to tell you my review on the Ninja Turtles Arcade 1-Up Machine. Let me tell you right off the bat, I really like this machine a lot. I think it's awesome. I think it's great. It gives me the nostalgia feeling. Uh, let me tell you my history with Ninja Turtles. I wasn't a teenager yet back then. I was probably in 6th or 7th grade when it, when it came out. I got a chance to play it. It brings back a lot of memories of me when I was a kid. I'm a 90s kid, so basically all these things that are coming up that Arcade one up showing is all the 90s machines. I'm trying to get them. It, it brings back the childhood to me. I always wanted an arcade and I got one right here. So how did I end up getting this uh, bad boy over here. Well, I got it on the first day it came out in Northern California. I called in the day before just on a whim just to check if they had it. The guy told me, hey, go go ahead and uh, come here tomorrow morning and check on it. I had work so I couldn't come tomorrow on that morning, but I did leave work early and I ended up picking one up, which was the last one. People were, this was getting sold like hotcakes in Walmart at least in my Walmart, before it even hit the store floor. So I just wanted to review this for you guys and just to see if you guys would want to pick one up. So let's start with the build quality. How's the build quality on this machine? Is it easy to build? Well, I built two previous machines from this one. I built the Mortal Kombat one and I built the Street Fighter one and they were all easy to build. This one's no exception, it's easier to build. This machine is the updated machine for Arcade 1UP. It has the new LCD screen, it has two speakers instead of one, and it also has four players. Building it was very simple, straightforward. Get yourself a screwdriver. Be careful with electric screwdriver because they, they recommend you not to over tighten stuff, which is why you shouldn't use it or be careful with it. Um, but it was easy. What I noticed about these machines, quick tip, is when you put on the, the screen of this, make sure that the back where it, the tabs where you screw in, make sure they're all loose at first because sometimes they don't line up when you put these two together. And when they're looser, you could easily line up the screws so you could screw them tight. Uh, just a quick tip. And also buy yourself a tiny screwdriver too. The, the build quality is great. There's not little, very little wobble. Um, this one's on carpet and it wobbles very little. It's very tight, very neat. Um, the quality is top notch in this one actually. So compared to the other machines, like the Mortal Kombat machine, there's tape right here, but the difference is there's actually molding, actual molding on the panel itself where the controls are. I, I don't, you can't see it, but there's like a little curve to it right here. I'll close it up for you guys, but that's what I really like about it. Uh, the packaging was, was, was awesome for this one. This was, besides my other two machines, this one actually had no dings and dents, honestly. To tell you the truth, I should, like coming from me, I should be a QC analyst. I look out for those things whenever I buy a product and I care about those things, but this one's almost flawless. Like I can't hardly, I can't even see on the artwork on the side, there's no dents, no scratches whatsoever. The screen, no scratches whatsoever that I could see, which is awesome. I mean, that, makes me happy. Now the new things that are compared to the old machines, one of them is the two speakers. So there's two speakers up here on the top instead of the single speaker. And the volume is better than both of the other ones because the other ones were mono. In this one, you could actually control the volume panels. So let me turn it, it's all the way down right now, but there's, so you could control them. All the way up to setting 15 for the loudest all the way down. So there is a volume uh, button or volume uh, volume adjustment besides only doing three adjustments on the old ones. Another thing new about this system is there's an updated LCD screen. Uh, the screen's more brighter, more vibrant than the old screen. And in the back, you could actually attach, there's an auxiliary cable so you could attach better speakers if you want for all you modders out there. 
another thing that's different about this machine compared to the old machines is there's four players. So they they put four players right here that extends out. I think this is their first four player machine out there. Also, there's still that there's a plastic overlay on it so it doesn't ruin the artwork on the bottom. They've been doing that for all machines now. They listen to the fans and this one's no exception. So a couple things compared to the old. Also right over here is this is a little bit deeper compared to let's bring out my Street Fighter cabinet. As you can see, I think it's because it brings up it needs room for the speakers on here. It's a little bit deeper, but also the screen is actually more angled. So, which helps so that you're you're not uh, really trying to struggle looking down. Not like it was an issue before, it's just that it's a little bit more angled this way. Um, here's a comparison. So this is that screen right there. And it's just a slight difference. And this is the Street Fighter screen right here. See how more upright it is? And let me show you the speakers. If I could show you up there, if you could see them, they're right up there, see? It's very deep speakers up here. Here's the marquee. The marquee is not light up on this one, but it looks great. The artwork looks great on this one. This is the stand that it came with. This is the stand that it came with right over here. Artwork looks great. Here's a view of that crown molding right over here. See how curved it is compared to this is another thing that I noticed. The overlay, since the screws are over here in the center, it's it flops up just a slight bit. I don't think no one made a video about that or talked about that, but the overlay does flop up a little bit right here. Nothing really to be worried about. It's just, it's, I'm just telling you what like it is. It's just, it just does that. So what about the gameplay? The gameplay is really fun. So. My experience with Ninja Turtles is I played it when I was a kid, but I also played it in two weeks ago, the actual arcade in an arcade bar in San Francisco. And I also played with it uh, the same art in another arcade in an arcade convention two months ago. I played it with four players all together in the actual arcade. In this one, a lot of people are asking, how does it play with four players? Let me give it, tell you the truth. It is a little bit cramped, but it depends. So the two middle players, if you like Michelangelo and Donatello, you lucked out. You have the greatest view of the game. Um, for the side characters though, you do have to move a bit. However, the game is still fun playing it. You can play it on the side. Let me stand up a little bit here and show you. So like, let's say if I'm playing on the side right here, depending on how wide this person is, I could actually go to the side like this if I wanted to and play and still have a view. I could actually, I actually have a view of the whole game right here because it's, it's a good LCD screen. Um, th there's only a little bit of a blockage right here if I really, really stand tall and look, but I could always move this way like this, all right? Not really a deal breaker, not really anything to be mad or sad about. You guys are gonna play it if you're like Ninja Turtles and gonna play it together. And hopefully you guys put on deodorant or hopefully you like the people that you're playing with. This arcade machine comes with two games, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time. I love Turtles in Time, that was my funnest one that I played. I recently beat Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two weeks ago in the arcade, uh, in the arcade bar. And yeah, it has two great games over here into one package. Now to select the games, you only have to use this player right here to select and use the attack button. The gameplay is very responsive. The, the controls are very responsive. It feels like the arcade and it feels like what it should feel like. I mean, I got that same feeling in here when I played in the real arcades too. And that's what I'm trying to get. Yes, you could get the emulation. Yes, you could get the, get like Raspberry Pi and play with controllers, but you won't get that arcade feel of four players unless you're gonna play with this, all standing up, all having fun, have a couple beers since you're older. If you don't drink, have some juice, I don't know. But this this is what it turns out to be. This is what you're trying to get, this is why you get it for. You get that feeling of being in the arcades, playing with your friends and having fun. So how does it compare to the arcade? 
it compares fairly well to the arcade it's almost you get that same feeling in the arcade however there are a couple differences one is yeah the spacing's a little bit more tighter two is a smaller arcade machine three since it's an LCD in the arcade is CRTV these ones they don't put any uh, arcade one up does not put any filters on it so you get the characters look more pixely a little bit tiny bit more blocky not a game changer for me um, they, they kind of to tell you the truth they disappear after a while you get used to it after playing it not a big deal however what you do get is a brighter picture better quality picture and it gets to be in your own home now let me bring the fact about the elephant in the room about the change in the song of the original. Let me tell you what they changed. They had to change the actual original song because of rights. And here's the sample of it right now. So. They changed it. Instead of it continuing, it's a woman who's saying Heroes in a Half Shell Turtle Power. It's odd, it's strange because you're so used to hearing the original song, but it's either they change that or you don't get the arcade. And it's a great payoff. Uh, honestly, it's not a big deal to me. It doesn't change the gameplay. It's just one little misstep. It's very minute for me, and I think for other people it is. It doesn't take the fact that you have a freaking Ninja Turtles arcade machine in your house. For all your, you arcade purists out there who says, you know, it's not like the arcade, it's bigger, it's a CRTV, I'm just all about the arcade, that's great for you. Go ahead, you know, go ahead, that's your opinion. Spend your money, you're, you're the ones who's gonna spend $2,000 on an arcade machine. To me, you know, this is great for me because it's cheaper, it fits in the house, I could carry it, move it around where I want to. It doesn't take up too much space. It doesn't take up too much space. Um, it fits my criteria. If, you, if I was gonna get an arcade machine with a CRT TV, it would be hard to put it in my house. It's not it's big and heavy. If it breaks, it's gonna be hard to fix because no one makes CRT TV, RT TVs anymore. This one, if it breaks, hey, if the if the game breaks, you could always I know in Arcade One Up you could just buy the screen that has the game in it and replace it, or you could just replace the whole thing. Yeah, it is four hundred dollars, but I mean, which would either spend replace the four hundred dollars or spend and replace two thousand dollars, or it doesn't work anymore and it's just a big brick. I don't know, it's you to decide, but for me, this fits the bill. I mean, I love building it; it's fun. Another thing that I want to point out to you, I'm sitting right now, but is the height of the machine. So I just want to stand up and compare it to my height. So if I stand up, this is me standing up right now. I'm actually, let me stand right here. Okay, I'm actually 5'7", and this is how high it is. It's a perfect height for me for 5'7". Look at where my hand placement is. It's good. It, the taller you are, the more you have to lean. Um, the great thing is the screen's bright enough and it doesn't lose picture quality at, at angles, really. So it's not really much of a, of a, um, a makes much of a difference. Uh, I just wanted to just show you, just compare you. As long as you're not seven foot tall, you're, you're gonna be comfortable playing this machine. So I wanna show you guys a little bit about the gameplay. On there, very short. I know you guys seen probably gameplay videos about this already. But I wanna show you my experience. So let's start with Michelangelo, let's skip this right now and let's play. Come on, let's go. And this is Ninja Turtles 1. Next up, Turtles in Time. Let's kick show! Let's 
skip that. Look at that, he threw him in the screen. That used to be phenomenal back in the day. People would go crazy when that happened. Look at that, oh. All right, that's it. My closing thoughts on this machine. Buy this machine. I really like it. If you are a 90s person, play this in the arcades, buy this game, and you want that nostalgia feeling that, ooh, I, I remember this, that I played in an arcade, buy this machine. Find it at Walmart. It's only sold at Walmart. $399. I know it's a little bit of a hefty price, but it's really worth it. You get this plus the sand. You get the fun times. This is an art piece in every party. People are gonna go, oh crap, this is the Ninja Turtles arcade. It's a conversation starter. You play with it your, with your family. I mean, your kids are gonna love it. I recommend it. So if you like this review, wanna know more about gaming or anything about gaming, being a geek, geek out with me. I'm all part of this community. Like and subscribe below. Tell me if you bought this and how what you think about it in the comment section below. This is Brian from Happy Funny Gaming. Turtle power, peace.